It's a two hour lesson, so we should not waste much time, please. Right. Uh, once, once again, we have a center point here. Please, uh, I did not uh, write the symbol there. Call it O. That's the center point. Okay. Uh, we have radii. Again, please look for isosceles triangles. Do you have any isosceles triangles in this case? Well, one is this side and one is that side too. Okay. Let's, let's turn it like this first and then see. That's a radius. That is also radius. Now, base angle is given to me as 50. So, do you agree this angle also can be 50? Right. So, that goes to be 50 there. Let me write. That's a 50. Right. So, those two angles are same now. And then let's look at the other triangle, which is also is isosceles. Now, in this triangle, that base angle is 20. So, what do you think of this one here? This is is isosceles, please, because watch the screen. We have one radius there, and this is another one. So, those two are equal in length, and therefore, it's an isosceles one. Base angles must be equal. If that's a 20, this also comes to be 20. Right. That's all we got. Now, we are interested in A and B. Now, let's look at A and B and see how we do that. Okay. Once again, we go back to the basics here. <clears throat> if you have a triangle, let's just uh, draw a small triangle there. <clears throat> In this triangle, if I extend this line a little bit, this is called exterior angle. This exterior angle equals to some of the interior angles there. Watch that. Those two add up to this. Right. This is uh, year, year 7 con concept, please. So, exterior angle of a triangle is equals to some of the, some means to add, some of the opposite interior angles. All right. So, that's the actual concept one needs to know. So, so just apply the same concept there. Do you agree this line is extended? So, what do you think of A? Go inside, look at those two angles. They add up to A because this is the exterior angle and they are the interior angles. So, that's a, that's a 20, that, that's a 20. So, this should, should be a 40, double there, 20 add 20. What do you think of this uh, B now? Same concept. You close that one. Look at this triangle. One side is extended. All right. So those two angles again add up to the B. So 50 plus 50 should be 100. People, that's how you got to solve this kind of sums. Look for the center point. If there are two radii, immediately go and see is there an isosceles triangle then you ap apply the base angles concept okay that's done uh, number four, 14 please number 14 let's look for that now well we got b and a only two letters to go there is a center point and we are very happy to see this line here passing through the center point and we know we call it as That's the keyword of the day for all these sums, please. Okay, now, angle made in a semicircle. What do you think of the angle made in a semicircle by this line here? Well, it's passing through the center, so we are, we are happy. That whole angle there should be a 90. That complete angle there should be 90, please. Now, after saying that it is 90, do you know B? No. Do you know that? No. So let's go and think about some, something else. Right, if you turn the picture like this now, do you see a chord? This, this is a chord here, right? That chord is making two angles. Think very carefully. That chord is making two angles, please. So this chord at one corner, it's making 28. And the other corner also, it's making an angle called A. And those two angles should be equal, people. This is the concept. Angles in the same segment are equal. If not, angles made by the same chord are equal 
in the same segment. Okay, that's that's done. Now, how do we find a B now? We should be careful here, right? So we got that S28. This is 20, 20, 28, but we do have an isosceles triangle. Go, go and check. Those two signs are same there, right? So those angles are same. And what can you do about it now? This is a 28 we got, so that also must be 28. That small part there should be 28. Now, are you not smiling now? Because this is a 90. You know that part as 28, and you can find this, right? 90 minus a 21st, so you got 70. You take the 80 away, uh, so sorry, 8, then you are left with 62. All right, people. Angle B should be 62. And that unwanted part is 28, but unless you found that, you cannot find this angle. Okay, that's how it works. So we, we got that now. Question 14 is done. Now let's look at the uh, last and final question on this page. Last and final one on this page, please. Right. <clears throat> we have a four sided figure. <clears throat> And there is a center point, so we are happy. Right. People, this seem, seems to be a very easy uh, question. Turn it like that. We just need to find x and k. Uh, do you agree that there is, there is an arc here? Watch there. I'll make it a bit thick. That's the arc. This arc is making one angle at the center and one angle at the circumference. So angle at the center is twice x, and therefore x must be that's a 130 half of 130 that's a 65 happy so we we got x now we got to find k well there is actually one more rule but we learned that in part two so at present we just need to apply the rules that we learned in this lesson all right now how do you find k means go back and then check this arc do you agree that arc is making an angle at the center that arc is actually making an angle at the center. This is that angle, please, right? If you find this angle, do you agree that will be half of this angle, all right? So tell me, how much is this? 360, take away 130, right? It's a complete angle there, watch, right? So 360 minus 100 is a 260. Take that 30 away, then this should be 230. That should be 230. Now, this should be half of this. Okay, that should be half of this. And therefore, the angle comes to be there. Half of 230 should be 115. All right, that is 115. This is 230. Angle at the center, angle at the circumference. So, uh, 15 sums are done on this, on this page. Okay, now you should not uh, really go and find only those uh, values that they asked you to, right? If you look at those four or five sums we have done now, the trick is go and fill all the blanks first that you know, right? Whether they asked you to find that or not, you still go and fill that gap and that really helps you to find the uh, actual things that they asked you to find. Okay, now we are in the last page, last but one. Let's see how it goes. Right, we are in page eight now, page number eight and question 16. Question 16, please, and that's page number eight. 